Hey everybody, Kat Kerr, and today we're making a disc-bound journal called Seeker. It was inspired by magic makers I like to call creatives. Creatives are most commonly referred to as the artists, the writers, the music makers. But I like to think of a creative as anyone that thinks outside of the box. Someone who sees the world a little bit differently than others do. A problem solver, an investigator, a collector of images, of color, of data, and someone who above all is innately curious. Scientists, archaeologists, astronauts, directors, all looking to offer the world a different point of view. This disbound journal was inspired by beautifully creative thinkers. I could only fit a few into the little journal, but the sky is full of bright stars and all we have to do is admire them. Funny thing is, as a kid, I never really used to like science. But I suppose as I've gotten older, I've learned to appreciate the value of new ideas. And curiosity is the key to everything. So first I added watermark ink through the math symbol stencils, and then I added clear embossing powder, removed the excess, and then melted it with a heat gun. I did the same with multiple pages using different stencils from my new line. I next picked out three Marabou Art Spray colors and I sprayed one at a time onto the gel press. Then I pressed the pages onto the gel press, picking up the color in random spots. Once the first color dried, I added a second color and then a third. The embossing powder on the pages acts as a resist. And if I had any leftover paint on the gel press, I just used a new journal page to pick up the color. There's really no waste with this technique. Next, I cut out windows on the pages without the embossing powder um, using a die cutting machine. And then I printed up images on my clear computer graphics uh, film. I trimmed them out just slightly bigger than the actual die cut, as well as cutting out blank pieces of computer graphics. I then removed the backing off the clear computer graphics and placed it on one side of the window. Next, I removed the backing off the image and placed it on the opposite side of the page, adhering the two elements. Next, I added some paint through a stencil on the pages with the film. I covered the image and added some black splatters, as well as using a black fine point marker to add some mark making. I printed up my quote, added it to the page with a glue stick, as well as adding some washi tape. And then I highlighted the text by using a, a Marabou art crayon and a water brush. 
I finished off the other pages with the embossing powder with a little bit of text um, with a stamp as well as adding a Tim Holtz paper doll and highlighting the doll with Marabou crayon. The same technique was added to the cover, but instead of cutting out one window, I cut out multiple windows, added a little bit of dimension with the title, and the page was done. To see the complete list of materials used in this tutorial, see the description below. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by www.graphicsarts.com.